I break out of the telepath and come back to myself with a sort of half gasp. Back to this is now from that was then. Back to myself with a kind of down-home whistle, like walking down a dusty old tree-lined yawn of a path to the front door. Someone has crossed her, and I'm going to have to figure out how to find them. And yes, I will cross them out. I'll do anything for her. Outside, the morning is sunny side up, and I am sunny side down with a frown on the stairs of this boarding house, holding my knees in my arms, listening to a chickadee calling out its D, D, D. The sound is rather metallic. What are these little birds, spies? I should catch one and take it apart to see if they're drones. Everything these days is on camera. You cannot trust the ordinaries. Here comes my little tag along, just when I need him. The orphan. He touches my shoulder, then walks his little fingers down and hops down to my knee. I look up and he smiles. The gap between his teeth, just the little space I need. My sullen state of mind came on so fast. I left my friend and I, uh, and those old school spinning video rims and stumbled out of her office at the end of the horror show. Click, click, click. The tape whipping all the blood to my head, trying to get around the truth. The eyes, they lie. Do they not?